Welcome back to Soul Canyon Kitchen. Ciao tutti. Today we're making our carrot, ginger, and coconut soup. I, ah. <laughs> I love this soup. I can't wait. My favorite thing about this soup is the taste, of course, but yeah. my second favorite is the color. The color, it's such a beautiful you know, orange. When you put that coconut milk in the soup with the carrots, it comes out such mm -hmm. a beautiful color. Yeah. And as I always say, Good food is a multi-sensory experience you do. and visually it's just, it's a gorgeous, and gorgeous And it's so food. healthy because it has garlic which is such a great immune booster and mm -hmm. antibacterial and the carrots, I need to drink this soup you more do. often because this is good for your eyes. It's loaded in vitamin A and has a lot of antioxidants and very, carrots are very well known to help the eyes mm -hmm. and I come from a family with glaucoma. Yeah. So I need to eat this soup once a week, Margot. Preventative soup. That's and not difficult. No. <laughs> and then uh, ginger, of course, which, uh, Do we need to say on. more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As you always say, if you don't like it, don't put it in. Yeah, but, but then... lose my number. <laughs> but um, also, I think this is the soup is just so great. Um, you, we, This is a great soup if you're doing a cleanse or a fast or something like that. But also, I like doing soup cleanses, yeah. where maybe you just eat one bowl of soup a day right. and make it really medicinal. This right. would be one for that right. also. Right. All right, let's get started. Yeah. Okay, so we're, we're going to we're gonna start with our onions, yep. right? Onions and garlic, we're going to drop those in first and let those... Sizzle! Uh, music to my ears. I got to get our spoons. Yeah. So garlic and onions, we're going to let the onions get translucent before we add some more ingredients. Yep don't really need to caramelize them here because they need to cook already for so long. But I like to see a few signs yeah, of brown. little bit of browning. Yep, on the bottom. And as you know, we don't ever saute in oil because it's pointless. No need. Then it doesn't really add any flavor to the soup no. in my opinion. I predict we're going to use about six cups of veggie broth. This is four, so we'll probably use a box and a half of this. Right. But you don't know. Um, you guys might like eight cups because you'll like your soup thinner. So yeah. it really depends how thick you slice your carrots. We slice these in our food processor there and they're about like this. So they yeah. should cook, cook fairly, fairly, fairly fast. Yeah. It's soft, but they need to get soft and sometimes your broth really reduces down yeah. in, so, in the cooking time. Yeah, so we have a, our little trick is that we don't put the coconut milk in right away because when it reduces down, then I feel like we've lost a lot of our coconut flavor if I keep adding broth. Right, right. So so we're going to do it all with broth and then add the coconut milk and the ginger kind of towards the end. Okay, our onions and garlic are looking nice and translucent, so it's time for us to add our carrots, orange juice, lemon juice, and we'll give a little broth. But... Okay, now you put that lid on. Okay, so it's been about, what would you say, 30, 30 minutes? minutes? Okay, so about 30 minutes. Our carrots are looking nice and they're almost there. They're pretty soft, but yeah, so not quite. But it's a good time. We still we're not done eat yet adding either. Yeah. So we're gonna add our ginger and then our coconut milk. And famous drop. Be famous careful. drop. <laughs> and let's stir that around before we even do the coconut, yeah. just to get all of good, that ginger, yeah. since it goes in in a big blob yeah. always. I can't wait to see the color transform, yeah. especially with this. Oh. So beautiful, look at yeah. that. All right, so we're gonna let this cook probably like another five, 10 minutes. Let the flavors infuse some more and then 
We'll taste it. Yeah, make sure the carrots are totally done before we blend and we'll, we'll go be ready that. to blend. Yeah. Okay, we tasted the carrots and they're almost there. Believe it or not, carrots take a long time, Ben. I know, amazing, because yeah. we sliced those so, so thin, thin and it's yeah. 45 minutes. Yeah. So always taste your carrots, that's when your soup is yeah. ready. But we're going to blend it now because that's going to speed up the process yeah. for that little bit left. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to use an immersion blender, but at this point you could transfer it to your blender and blend it that way. I'll let you handle that. Okay, so our soup is definitely done. It looks beautiful and smooth and orange. And it. we're gonna go ahead and plate it up and give it a final it. tasting. Yeah. And now for the best part. Our taste. Yes. Final taste. Final yeah. taste. And we garnish it with a little cilantro one because it's beautiful and delicious, but you know. Ooh, ooh. We're not one the cilantro. Wow. That is fantastic. Amazing. This is fantastic. I love mm. this. Mm -mm. Honestly, I would eat this mm. hot or cold. Mm. Year round, too. True. I think this would be amazing cold. True. That would be wow. like, like a cold summer soup. I'm tasting a little bit more coconut. Uh -huh. And I think tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be amazing. Really Soups, good. If history, soup history has taught us anything, it's that they always taste even more incredible the next day. So if this is this good right now. You know what? In the Instant Pot, this could be made in the Instant Pot mm -hmm. easily. Funny, I was just going to say that. In the Instant Pot, this would probably cook in 20 minutes. Yeah. The thing you would do is just saute the onions and garlic mm -hmm. like we did, and then when they were translucent, put everything in. I love my Instant Pot. I feel like if I close my eyes, it transports me to another country, maybe. Mm -hmm. because yeah. Because there's exotic. Mm -hmm. But then, you know, I'm from Puerto Rico, and Coconut, coconut is such a, uh, mm -hmm. a useful, mm -hmm. I don't know, cooking ingredient. Mm -hmm. They do it in so many things. Yeah. So, so it's in a way very tropical, but yeah. then you've got these root vegetables of the carrot that's so earthy, mm -hmm. but it has that light, light thing. I don't know, light. Bright. Yeah, it's a, like a bright flavor. Mm. Fantastic. Really good, approved. Approved. Damn. Mm. I love this. I can't wait for it to have it tomorrow. Damn. <laughs>